Hi, I'm Mike. I'm from the Hulks, the SPL team from Hamburg, Germany. Uh, we just celebrated our 10-year anniversary, so we've visited a couple of RoboCups uh, in previous years. Um, this year especially, we reworked our entire walking engine, so everything from the basic steps to the speed that we're walking at, including stability, catching steps, things like that. You'll, so you'll see some robots that are walking faster, some that are slower. And another big improvement or change because of the rules this year is that we have uh, the visual referee detection, so you'll see that our robots are uh, walking onto the field when the referee gives the relevant signal and not any time earlier than that. As you can see, these two teams are uh, are very big teams with their um, both their own unique frameworks. And you can clearly see the hard work that has been going into uh, getting all these technical challenges right, making sure that the robots pass to each other. Um, you can clearly see that there has been a, a lot of effort here as uh, both teams are uh, making up for a pretty exciting match with uh, very level frameworks here. Because all these robots tend to fall a lot, but I think I see a different way in the movement, the robots do to get up. <laughs> so he's trying to get up to now, pass the ball outside, so he's going to direct kick over the Hulk, close over the HP, number UK. Yes, as you can see, uh, there's a, a difference in the way they walk as well. HGWK prefers to hold their hands behind their back as uh, the ball rolls towards the goal here. Let's see if the goalkeeper can uh, get them all away. The outs are in an offensive position, but the keeper, the goalkeeper, managed to kick the ball away. Now we're getting up again. And the outs still in an offensive position, but now I think the HP W's, W's, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we can see HCWK getting ahead again, good defense, a lot of robots at the back of the field here, but uh, Hawks has a very tight way of playing, very well balanced robots, very solid robots as well, um, as they can get the ball whacked very quickly. Um, the ball hasn't been out yet, it's on the edge here. Let's see if they can recover it. Seems to be coming back now. Yeah, HCWK does seem to have uh, chosen for a more uh, defensive approach to get the ball, uh, to get as many players behind the ball and then uh, probably counter-attack a bit. Kicking very sharp with their ball detection, moving around, getting that ball as close to the goal and keeping it there to get as many rebound opportunities to score that goal here. So uh, really well played from Hulk. They are with a full team on the field while the Hurts have a lot of players suspended and penalized at the side, so let's see if they can use this advantage. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
First half, I'm here with Rico from the HGWK Robots and Mike from the Hugs. How was the first half? It was quite intense. Um, I think this is the first time we've had a 1-0 um, against HGWK uh, Robots in a while. Um, insanely impressive goal, I would say. There was a nice pass play between our robots. You know, we had the, had the, I think the green six that pulled up in the last moment and had the final shot into the goal. Um, sad to have, you know, other goals scored against us. Obviously, you always want to win, but I think we're really happy with the performance that we had in the first half. Absolutely. Enrico HWK now ahead in the first half. Yes, uh, luckily. Um, our first goal was a bit luck. Um, and uh, we, we had a bit of a confusing situation with basically both teams detecting a whistle during the set stage. And the referee just gunning it and it's play now. <laughs> uh, so that, that was a bit lucky uh, because you guys were down a couple of robots. Um, but then your first goal was really nice and right through the gap. Um, congrats on that. Uh, so let's hope for, for a nice second half. Play! Play! Okay, 
Alright, let's see if DB Pandas are now taking over the defensive part of the goal. The number six of the green team. Yes, sir! Very nice to see the, the, the team, the engineers, shouting as a robot. Storm! That's the implemented voice commands, I don't know. Again, blocking the ball, which is not allowed. Okay, the ball is free again. Oh, there's a small part coming up from the robot. Okay, it's going away. Okay, the ball in the middle, and number four has spun the ball, but yeah, this is a good sign when he wants to walk towards the ball. But now number four has spun the ball, and the four of the blue team, the team on the line with the three of the team, but the defender number four of the host also spun the ball. But he also spun the ball, the calling players so we can finish our day back. So it's really nice to see what strategy they have in playing Ackerman. What is the position from which the ball should be when defenders come into action? What do you think? Yeah, they seem to have uh, implemented very nicely considering the robot if he's turned towards the ball, um, if he's turned away from the ball, which defender would be the most possible to throw if the robots are close enough. So uh, it's a, a lot of things that are being considered here, but uh, it seems to be working fantastically for him. Now we see another piece from the robot number two falling up. But number three has manages to pick the ball towards the goal. It's an attack with number four, the defender from the host, also pop the ball. Let's see who wins this. This duel. Number three moving, stepping aside, trying to pass. Number four. Number two getting up again. So now number four and number two are in the defense. Number two shielding off player number four to the blue team. Let's see if number four can pick the ball away. Let's see nicely how number two shielding off the ball. So number four can pick the ball away. Very nice to from the house. Yeah, you can see them uh, moving around, getting that ball free, making sure that the other goal was shielded off, but they did it beautifully. They uh, have to hope that the other goal is now that the HCWK doesn't approach too quickly, but they seem to be in a very good position with most of the defenders on the floor here. Um, let's see if four can turn around. We we'll see some searching behavior from him. Oh, three! From out of nothing, three manages to kick the ball into the goal, which means now four against one for the team from Leipzig from for HCWK. Very nicely done. And arriving at number five, that's in a steady position as well, so it's okay. We can start again for the last eight seconds of this match. You see the host perhaps can score in three seconds now. Yeah, it's the end of the match. Very nicely done for both teams, but HPWK were a little bit better and they won this match with four against one, four against it for the HPWK and one for the host. Very impressive match, very cool to see um, how these robots function, how HCWK keeps their high level as well. Also later in the match with the joints warming up as well, um, where Hulk started struggling with getting up as well. Uh, you could see that HCWK just kept up and just kept moving, which is really great to see. Yes, perhaps we'll see these teams again and hopefully a very another exciting match to see.